Hi kids, have you been praying this week? When you pray, do you sometimes find it difficult or you don't know what to say? Sometimes when I pray, I find it difficult, especially if I'm tired or if my mind seems to insist on being somewhere else, or even if I'm upset about something. All of these things can make it difficult or hard to pray. But that is the exact time that you must never ever stop or give up because God has a blessing for you if you just push through. There's an acronym, which is a play on words really, which is push. And it means pray until something happens. P-U-S-H, pray until something happens. Do you know why we pray? We pray simply because Jesus prayed and he said that we should tell your heavenly father whatever is on your mind. He loves to hear you speak to him. So practice praying this week. And remember, a prayer is simply having a conversation with God, your best friend, and you can tell him anything. And when we pray, we learn to hear his voice. Bye kids. Thanks for listening. Hi everyone. Could you play computer games, watch TV, or read a book for hours and hours and hours? Tell you what, my son could. And when I try and stop him for one minute just to pray, this is what I get. Ooh. But Dad, I'm halfway through a mission. I'll stop now, I'll my progress. And prayer is so boring anyway. What? But Dad, my favourite program's about to start now. Can I not do it later? Anyway, when I pray, I'll never get what I want, so why bother? Dad, I'm right near the end of my book. Can I not just finish that? I'll tell you what, can I just pray tomorrow? It's just so hard. I'm not in the mood to pray now. I'll do it tomorrow. People find it no problem to do those things, like my son, but struggle to pray even for a minute. Why? As you heard from my son, it's because we find it boring and we want to do the things we want to do because if we find it hard or feel that we don't get anywhere when we pray or what we want but it's so important to pray that even though we talked about it last week we are going to talk about it again today last week we learned that prayer is communication with God. And it is so important if we want a friendship with God. But why should we pray? Is it okay to pray just to get what we want? The thing is, we don't always get what we want or what we ask for. So keep watching to find out. Bye. called savior have you heard of his perfect love have you heard of the one in heaven have you heard how he gave his son because i have found this love i believe in the sun show me
believe in the one called Savior. I believe he's the risen one. I believe that I'll live forever. I believe that my king will come. Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. So how have you been getting on with your prayers? Great, I hope. I know that sometimes it can be tricky to think about what to say, but believe me, God is listening and he loves to hear your voice, whatever you pray about. Let us pray together right now and, and ask Jesus why we should pray. Lord Jesus, I love you so much and I love that you want me to talk with you all the time. I know that I can tell you absolutely anything. You make me feel that all of my words are important to you. Please can you let me know why it is so important for me to pray. Amen. If you agree with that prayer at home, children, then punch your fist up into the air and say, yay! Did you do it? Okay, well, so in the Bible, what did Jesus have to say about why we should pray? Let's reflect on some of the things that he did and said in his life here on earth to see if he did what he told us to do, if he really did pray. In the book of Luke, Jesus gave many examples of how to follow him, how to live the way that God wants us to. In Luke 3 verse 21, Jesus prayed before getting baptised by John. He prayed to God to check that the decision that he was about to make was what God wanted him to do. God communicated with him, telling him that he was incredibly pleased with him for doing this, for getting baptised. Jesus prayed before and as he got baptised. In Luke 18, Jesus told people that they should always pray and never give up. He followed what he said with the parable about the persistent widow. This widow kept on asking an unfair judge for something that she needed, justice, and she never gave up. At first, this judge didn't want to help her, but eventually he did what she asked. He even said, I don't fear God or care about his people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out with her constant requests. Jesus said, don't you think God will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? 
Jesus was explaining that if the non-religious and unfair judge would do this for the woman and he didn't even like her, then just imagine how much more our loving God would do for us, his friends. Now, sometimes God may delay in answering our prayers, but there's always a good reason for this, a reason or reasons that we may not understand, but God does. In the New Testament, and in particular in the book of Luke, Jesus performed many miracles, which many people came to see. Miracles such as healing the sick, providing Simon with a miraculous catch of fish when he really needed it, raising people from the dead and calming a dangerous storm. Jesus even fed 5,000 people after blessing just five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus often went off to pray by himself and sometimes he went into the wilderness, an area of land with minimal distractions or interruptions. In Mark 14, it is written that Jesus also went away to pray before he was arrested, before he was crucified. He wanted to talk to God about how he felt. Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I shall pray. He also taught his disciples to pray when they asked him to teach them how to do it in Luke 11. This is when Jesus taught them the Lord's Our Father prayer. Jesus made sure that he taught them how to praise God first before telling or asking him for anything. Do you know the the Lord's prayer, the Our Father prayer? Our Father, who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Jesus encouraged his disciples to make make prayer a huge part of their daily lives. He wanted them to understand the importance of a good friendship, a close relationship with God. To have that kind of special relationship, they needed to follow Jesus's example. With much practice, when you feel really comfortable and closer to God, Praying is really not that hard and is definitely not boring if you ever thought it was. So hopefully by now you're understanding so much more about prayer. Praying to God is a personal experience with your own choice of words that God understands. Praying is a time where we can get to know God better. And when we pray, we make sure that God is the focus of our attention and our time. He becomes the most important part of our thinking. And when we pray, this opens our hearts to God. I hope you have a lovely week. Keep praying and stay blessed.
everyone. I do hope now that you are feeling that prayer is a little bit easier and a little bit more exciting than you first thought it was. Um, I've got someone that wants to speak to you about prayer a little bit. So give me a second, I'll just pop and get him and um, let him talk to you just for a few seconds about what's been going on with him. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Hey, Biscuit, do you want to tell everybody about what you've been doing with your prayers? Hmm. OK. Um, I've been practising praying this week. Um, God says yes. God says no. God says sometimes wait. I know that. And I know that he is doing it because he loves me and he wants me to have the best. So that's OK. Um, OK, I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye. Bye. When we have something that is important to us and that we treasure and that is very special, we look after it, don't we? We put it somewhere safe so that it doesn't get lost. I've got something here to show you that I treasure and I keep um, really safe so it doesn't get lost. It's a jewellery box and it's got lots of jewellery in it that is really special to me, that was given to me a long time ago. So to keep it safe, I have to keep it in this box. When I want to um, remember something as well and keep that safe, I write it in a book. So the prayers that I pray that um, I have answers to or that I'm waiting for answers to, they get written in this big book here. Do you know that God treasures your prayers in that same way? He wants to keep them safe. He wants to make sure that uh, you know that you uh, your prayers are treasured to him. There is a special place in um, heaven in the throne room of, room of heaven where God keeps all of your prayers and it says so in the Bible in Revelation chapter 5 verse 8 that let me get the Bible and I will show you where it is and it says that um, like the incense of uh, golden bowls full of incense there are prayers of the saints so all the saved people of the world, all of your prayers, your little prayers, your big prayers, your in-between prayers, every single one of them is saved by God and put in special bowls. Isn't that amazing that he loves you so much and he wants to listen to your prayers so much that he saves every single one of them like they are treasure to him. So keep practising, keep talking to God and remember your prayers are his treasure. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember to pray because God loves to hear your prayers and they are super special, so special that they are treasured in heaven. See you. Okay, so last time Josiah beat Jacob on the power verse, and I'm sure many of you at home got there quicker than these guys did. But today we're going to see who's going to win. So the power verse is today Luke 18 1. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Go! <laughs> oh. It. He's got it. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Awesome. So, does praying sound more interesting now? Do you know our prayers are so important that they are kept in a special place? Remember, if you have any questions, ask your parent or guardian to explain and to help you practice praying, talking to God and building a relationship with him this week and in the weeks to come. Bye.